TGIF. It's Allison Scuddy, and this is my way of welcoming you to the weekend. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to use our personal blender. This could be the Magic Bullet. I think that Hamilton Beach makes one, Senso makes one. This one happens to be made by Elite. Comes with a bunch of little cups, comes with a couple different blades, a koozie, the lids. But here's the thing they're all about making drinks. They're not big enough to make the salsa. I'm going to make salsa, but I'm going to use a full food processor for that because really these aren't wide enough and you'll get too much of a mush. But let's start with the margarita because it's Friday. I've got about half full of ice in here. You see this? And one of the reasons I, want, I like to do this at home for you is because when you see it on TV, there, everything's pre-measured and you don't really know. You get it home and it never works right until you've made so many of them, right? Well, let, let's try it from this way. I'm going to, I've got the ice in there. I put about half in. This is gonna depend on whether you want a frozen margarita or a thinner margarita. But I, wanna, I want one that's kind of, if you, I don't want to get a brain freeze, but on the other hand, I don't want it thin. I'm going to add in some tequila, and I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to put about that much. Looks good. It's not the best tequila in the world, but it'll do in a pinch. I'm going to add a little uh, triple sec, a little splash. Yep. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a strawberry margarita. I don't want to add fresh berries. Sometimes it mushes. What I want to do is I want to add uh, frozen berries. This could be mango or pineapple or whatever you like. Add a few in there, and keep in mind though, this is also going to thicken it up. So let's add a little bit, because the frozen berries, a little bit go a long way. Put those in there, and then let's add in some uh, margarita mix. I'm using the Margaritaville. I like a lot of different brands, um, but this one seems to do well, and it's not too acidic. I don't get heartburn too much. All right. The different blades. Most sets give you two blades. There's a flat blade, and there's a raised blade. The flat blade is more for salad dressings than anything that is just kind of be whipped, not necessarily chopped. If you're using ice, always go with the raised blade. You see it's serrated on one side and flat on the other, but look, they won't cut you. So even if you have a teenager or something that are using this, it won't cut you. Take this, put it on here, make sure it's on tight so it doesn't leak everywhere, and then you're going to put it on the base. Now, a couple things to notice about when you're looking for a blender. There's a couple things. The magic bullet, you have to push down like that, and that's the only way it'll work. The Elite, you can lock it into place. I personally like that, but I still had to have it hold on to it. And then here's the button, and all you're going to do is pull. And that's going to grind that ice, and the ice is going to pop back down. Let's push this down. Okay, you hear the sound difference? When you don't hear the ice, you don't know it's done. And look. Also, see how it's growing? That's why you always want to leave a little room at the top. All right, that's enough of that already. Let's take this, take the lid off. Now, what I could do, um, some of them have the bands that you screw on the edge and you drink right out of the cup. The Elite doesn't have that. What they have is they have a little top like this and you put it on and there's a little flip top lid. This is kind of cool I guess. You can put your straw in there and you can drink it right out of the straw if you want. This is really good for like frappes and stuff like that in the morning or fraps I guess you should say to take in the car with you but this is Friday so you know what hey I'm gonna go all out. I don't have a margarita glass. I do have a martini glass. I'm not that picky. Look at that. See look at oh, one clunk. Darn it. Two clunks. Ideally, you have no clunks. We could have gone a little longer, but you know what? This is going to be pretty good, I think. Oh, yeah. Muy delicioso. All right. Now, check out another video to get a good little appetizer to go along with this margarita. I'm going to make some salsa. Thanks.